Along about this time of year, people often ask me, how, how, how do I go about doing an annual portfolio review? And uh, it, it's an interesting question because I think it, it's touchy for a lot of people in that a lot of people are different than a lot of other people. And some people are watching their portfolio all the time, but maybe too focused on the prices and not focused enough on what it is that they're trying to accomplish with the portfolio. Other people are looking at the portfolio much less often, like maybe once a year, and then saying to themselves, A or B or some variation in between, like it did great, I should be really pleased with what I'm doing, hooray. Or it did lousy, I should be really unhappy, make some changes so it'll do better ahead. None of those are really the right kind of way to think about it. The right way to think about it is pretty simple. What is it you're trying to accomplish? What is it you're wanting your portfolio to do for you? And what are the kinds of things you would have in it, in a broad brush sense, that would accomplish that for you? Intuitively, those two things, what do you want it to do, and what are the kind of things you need to do that for you, are really central to what you should be looking at. So for most people, and some people of course are very different than others, but for most people, there's answers to very simple questions that you ask yourself and you, you know your answers. They're, what do I want my money to do for me? Well, you know, for most people, it's something like take care of me and my spouse the rest of our lives. Maybe leave some money to our offspring. Maybe give some money to charity. Maybe there's some other uniquenesses like that, but you know what they are. I can't answer those for you, but you know what they are. And then you say, so then how long do I have? And most people have an investment lifetime ahead of them that is much longer than they think they have. Because except for the what might be deemed as the tragic foolishness of youth that relates to things like drug addiction, this, that, and the other, for the most part, older people tend to keep living longer. The best guide to how long you'll live is A, your family's genetics before you, and B, how you conduct your lifestyle compared to how they conducted their lifestyle. And then C, any incidental, unique, happenstantial health problems that you may have compared to what they had. In that, let me just say simply that for most people, if you have a very long time horizon, you want an equity-based portfolio. You don't want to overthink it. I don't know you. I can't speak for you personally. But said simply, you want to make it simple. Said simply, it's fine to be a passive investor if you can do it and hold on to it. It's fine to have a managed portfolio if it's aimed right down the middle at not trying to be too weird, uh, not trying to hit home runs, not trying to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. And in that, you want to see, is my portfolio simply aimed at accomplishing my long-term goals? Are these kinds of things, without trying to second-guess every stock, unless you think you're like a super special stock jock that knows how to do that, which if you think you are, you're probably not, because not very many people are. Are these the kinds of things that in the long term should get me to where I need to go? For the most part, in the long term, stocks do better than other liquid forms of assets. And for the most part, as you age, you need a fair amount of liquid assets, which would be in that form. It's also fine as you get much older and your time horizon gets much shorter to dampen your volatility by adding portion of bonds, maybe a little more fixed income. But as you get older, actually real estate gets tougher to do because it requires activeness. And you wanna just keep thinking on an annual basis is what I have in the format that will get me to what I need in the long term. It's not a lot more complicated than that. Thank you for listening to me. Subscribe to the Fisher Investment YouTube channel if you like what you've seen. Click the bell to be notified as soon as we publish new videos.